Ladies and gentlemen, well done on a great initiative. International E-Waste Day is exactly the sort of event that Europe needs. You are raising awareness about how electronic waste is a big issue. But you go further, you are highlighting what we can do to manage, reduce and recycle. Electronic waste is the fastest growing waste stream all around the world. And Europe produces more of this waste per capita than anywhere else. But as we all know, it isn't really waste. It's a valuable resource and too often it goes to waste. When we recycle e-waste, it pays off for the environment, it pays off for industry, and it pays off in jobs, and that's what's starting to happen. In 2005, Europe collected 300,000 tons of electronic waste. Today, it's nearly 4 million tons, and if we meet the targets in our legislation, it will be 10 million tons by the year 2020. We know that won't be easy. We won't get there unless we implement the legislation in full. And that's why the Commission carried out a major compliance promotion initiative for we, helping member states and encouraging exchanges of experience. Small countries and islands have very specific problems. We understand that. So we have prepared specific proposals using best practices that work elsewhere, because we learn best when we learn from each other. We are recommending three things. First of all, we need more separate collection of electronic waste. That means more awareness and more education. Secondly, we need less leakage from collection and treatment. And third, we need stronger extended producer responsibility schemes. Defining the responsibilities is very important so everyone is clear about who does what. Now it is the time to put the recommendations into practice. And of course, we will be watching with interest. Europe's waste legislation is a vital ingredient in a more circular economy. Going circular means avoiding waste and using resources for as long as possible. It's the straightest path to a stronger economy. That's why the Commission has undertaken a major overhaul of EU waste legislation. There are some very positive results. Europe's leaders have agreed to strengthen extended producer responsibility schemes all across the board. These responsibilities will be clearer, targets will be more ambitious, and the process will be even more transparent. It's a way of rewarding producers who make things that are easier to repair, to reuse and to recycle. We are also working on eco-design where I want to see new criteria for repairability, durability and upgradability. That way we extend the lifespan of items like washing machines, dishwashers and televisions. We are also applying this thinking to the EU Ecolabel, Green Public Procurement and EMAS, which is Europe's tool to help companies so that they can improve their environmental performance. Helping companies, consumers and public authorities make choices that are more sustainable. Ladies and gentlemen, your input to these processes is very valuable. The Forum and its members play an important role turning legislative intentions into reality. Thank you for your support in providing that essential link. I look forward to working more with you in the future and I wish you all a very productive event. Thank you.